We're about to hit Thanksgiving, and for many of you freshmen in college, this is going to be your first college Thanksgiving going back home, and you're going to find that it's a little bit different than your high school college or high school Thanksgivings. And so there are some things that you should be ready for, especially because you're going to be seeing a lot of your relatives for the first time. I know it was a big thing for me to go back, even in grad school, actually. They, the questions that would be asked, there's a, a number of different interview questions you should be ready to answer, like, what's your major? Do you like it? What do you want to do with it? Basically, like you have to explain like a month into college what the rest of your life is going to be like. Mm -hmm. Did you did you receive that sort of pressure from relatives, especially relatives that you might not see very often? No. No, they just didn't care. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't go back to Thanksgiving first off. Oh, you seem so family oriented. I would, I would go think back that for you would. Mm -hmm. Okay, that yeah. makes sense, especially so if you went far away. So I'm going to just act like this is Christmas time in my brain. Uh -huh. Um. Yeah. No. Okay. Well, I have to say that, that from my point of view, like my mom, my dad, I would be in pretty close contact generally. So they didn't ask these sorts of questions. Yeah. But I know that especially once I was in graduate school and I had like a dissertation I had to work on, the same questions from every aunt and every uncle and every cousin, like, what are you going to do? Are you out? Are you done yet? Do you have six more months? And that's something that you have to be ready for. But there are other things as well. For instance, uh, you, once you go into college, generally that's when I think a lot of people will develop their sort of political ideology for the first time. I know that that's what happened for me. And so this could be the first year of drunken political arguments over Thanksgiving dinner. Um, you are a little, you're more on the conservative side. My family doesn't drink either. So they don't drink? I've never seen my dad hold a beer in my entire life. Your and mom, I've seen not my a mom boxed drink wine fan? Wine maybe four times at most in my mm -hmm. entire life. So were you able to, for that reason, avoid political disagreements over dinner? No. I mean, my dad, I got, I became kind of a little bit more liberal mm -hmm. over my college years and my dad would be like, where did you come from? Oh, so he's more conservative than you. Yeah. OK, so so you, did you uh, actively engage in those arguments, or did you yeah, have a way definitely. of avoiding it? Oh, so you and just you'd fight of, with him. And then I kind of reverted back to my dad, very, very uber conservative, mm -hmm. now that I've graduated. And now my brother is the liberal one. He's like going to Tufts in Boston, and he's all, uh -huh. Mr. Philosophy, I'm so smart, and I know everything. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, you don't, Derek. So do you argue with him? Yeah, we all argue. It's like one of my favorite things, though. So you like it. We okay. love it. Yeah, I love engaging in really in hmm. interesting, you know. I think if you have a family where you can have those arguments and, like, it doesn't lead to any, like, bad blood, that's that's yeah. a good thing. I know that I have, there's a couple people in my family that are super conservative. Like, we tend to be pretty liberal, but I know my younger brother, for instance, very conservative. How old is he? Um, he's a year younger than me. So you can do the math on your own. Uh, but I know I would not want to have those arguments because for me, especially because politics matters so much to me, that would lead to bad blood. Mm. And so I think that generally um, avoiding certain topics, like they always say you don't really talk about money, politics, or religion, and also trying to avoid getting too drunk around people that you know are predisposed to argue with you. Don't let it lead to bad thing. blood. Everyone's entitled to their, their opinion. Mm -hmm. Come on. But isn't everyone entitled to try to influence other people's opinion? Yeah, sure. And if you but don't it like it, work, just whatever. doesn't work, especially if you're drinking. Oh, God. I mm -hmm. think that's so weird and lame. Okay. Well, I like that your but family I, doesn't have I, these sorts of problems. But I, under, I, I, to each their own. Okay. Ricky, <laughs> uh, Thanksgiving is at the Strom household. When you went back, like, you had been in a bigger city, or you grew up in suburbs? Yeah. Okay. As you started to change in your time in college, did you find that you had any pushback from your immediate family at these holiday gatherings? No. No, they didn't no, care. No, none whatsoever. No. Maybe this is an East Coast thing or something, but I found that I would get grilled when I went home, and in a good way. Like they saw it as being invested in my life, but I always dreaded it because it's the same stuff every time. I mean, they would take like slight jabs, but it wasn't it wasn't mm -hmm. anything serious. I mean, we wouldn't argue about you know politics or anything like that. I mean, I think they valued the time that I was there mm -hmm. because I was never there. I think that's a good point. You seem to go home constantly here, though, for holidays and stuff like that. Like, you're going to be going home for Thanksgiving, right? No, it's only because I took vacation for the first time in three years working here. So okay. that's why you think. I mean, okay. It just yeah. feels like it. Okay, so the final thing that I, I know I also had to deal with, I grew up in Bridgeport, Connecticut. I went to college in Yukon, far across the state of Connecticut. If you're in a big state, it's not that far. But for me, it felt like a long way. And when I would go back, generally, I think Thanksgiving was the first time that I saw my old high school friends who didn't go on to college. Most of the, the people that I knew that went to college went to UConn, so I saw them all the time. And it can be a very weird experience to be re-exposed to your friends who you've been having all these classes learning about all these German film and civilization and blah, blah, blah. 
and they've been continuing their jobs at the mall or going for their careers that did not require the college route, that can be a pretty shocking experience, I think, to see how different you become as you I diverge I loved going back home from Why? that social point. Because I was like the loser in high school that no one really liked and everyone thought was really weird. And then I was the girl who went to UCLA and went to California. So when I came back, I was the cool girl that went to UCLA in California. Uh -huh. And, and I loved it. So, <laughs> I was like, yeah, cool. you guys. That's, oh. I'm, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you guys all went to lame schools and didn't leave. Okay, well, you do have that aura of coolness. That is, you've retained that ever since freshman year. I'm not anyway, cool. so these are just a couple of things that you should consider when you go back. You're going to be seeing people you haven't seen in months. And for you, so much has happened during your first few months in college. For them, it's pretty much life as usual. So just be cognizant of that. Try to keep your, 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 your wits in terms of drinking and stuff, and you should have a good Thanksgiving holiday.